Chelsea owner Roman Abramovic is not among the Russian oligarchs facing severe sanctions by the UK over the brutal invasion of Ukraine. Five Russians were slapped with restrictions by the UK government as missiles rained down, killing 57 and injuring 170. But billionaire Abramovic, who made his fortune in the oil and mining industries, was not among them despite his alleged links to President Vladimir Putin. It comes after Labour MP Chris Bryant told the House of Commons that Abramovic is linked to corrupt activity and practices. Using parliamentary privilege, meaning he cannot face legal action, the MP quoted from a Home Office document from 2019 revealing he remains of interest to UK authorities for his links to the Kremlin. The invasion wiped £300 million from Abramovic's £9 billion fortune as the largest stakeholder of London-listed Russian-focused mining company Evraz, one of the hardest-hit firms on the FTSE 100. The billionaire was named in papers by Labour's Chris Bryant linking him to the Russian state, Image, Getty Images Europe. Mr Bryant said in the Commons, I have got hold of a leaked document from 2019 from the Home Office which says in relation to Mr. Abramovic, as part of HMG's, Her Majesty's Government's, Russia strategy aimed at targeting illicit finance and malign activity, Abramovic remains of interest to HMG due to his links to the Russian state and his public association with corrupt activity and practices. An example of this is Abramovic admitting in court proceedings that he paid for political influence. Therefore HMG is focused on ensuring individuals linked to illicit finance and malign activity are unable to base themselves in the UK and will use the relevant tools at its disposal, including immigration powers to prevent this. That is nearly three years ago and yet remarkably little has been done in relation. Surely Mr. Abramovic should no longer be able to own a football club in this country? Labour's Chris Bryant named the oligarch using parliamentary privilege, image, PA. Surely we should be looking at seizing some of his assets including his £152 million home? And making sure that other people who have had tier 1 visas like this are not engaged in malign activity? The five elite individuals, who have close links to the Kremlin, will see their assets frozen and cannot travel to the UK or interact with British businesses. Commons leader Mark Spencer told Mr Bryant in response, he will know under the sanctions passed in the House this week there is the opportunity for the government to take very strong action against high-profile Russian individuals who are of concern. He will be aware that the Home Secretary will be at this dispatch box next Monday for Home Office questions and I am sure he will be able to challenge her. Abramovic has owned Chelsea since 2003, Image, FIFA via Getty Images. Most read. Kremlin website down as Russian TV channels hacked to broadcast Ukrainian songs. Vladimir Putin plans to dominate Europe with chilling warning to Finland and Sweden. UK weather. Met Office lift snow warnings as temperature to plummet to minus 8 C. It comes as Boris Johnson unveiled the largest and most severe package of sanctions Russia has ever seen after Moscow launched the brutal invasion of Ukraine be land, sea and air. Speaking in the Commons, the Prime Minister called Putin a blood-stained aggressor who believes in imperial conquest, and was always determined to attack his neighbor, no matter what we did. Earlier this week the Prime Minister issued a correction after he wrongly claimed that Abramovic was the subject of targeted sanctions by the UK government. On Tuesday, Mr Johnson told MPs that Mr Abramovic was already facing sanctions, a claim disputed by Mr Bryant, among others. He said the next day, Roman Abramovic has not been the subject of targeted measures. Those on the list facing sanctions were Kirill Shamilov, Russia's youngest billionaire, Petr Fradkov, CEO of pro Bank, Denis Bortnikov, Deputy President of the State-owned VTB Bank, Yuri Slyasar, Director of United Aircraft Corporation, and Elena Alexandrovna Georgieva, the Chairwoman of the Board of Novacom Bank. Read more. Furious protesters in London call for Boris Johnson to wake up and stop Putin now. Read more. Full list of 10 Russia sanctions announced by Boris Johnson, and what they mean.